Hello, my name is Sherelle. I am proudly South African and I live in Johannesburg. I am happily married and very blessed to be a mother. I am super delighted to be a part of the wellness series and on Mariana's invitation, I will be hosting the Regain and Rethink topic. So my ministry is going to be a sharing of my testimony. I am not so much going to share with you my interpretation of the word as I'm going to share with you my personal experience with the word of God. So, my experience with the word is founded for this topic on the scripture of Revelation 2. The scripture in which Jesus wrote a letter to the church of Ephesus at a time in which Jesus expressed his disappointment in the church for not doing the works that they did from the beginning or in the beginning. And he had warned them that unless they repented and returned to the works that they did in the beginning, that he would let their lamp stand fall amongst the other churches or amongst the other lampstands. And that for me was a calling or a call to fall back in love with God. Because that is when I realized that despite all my good works, all of my good works towards my family, my friends, my jobs, and even the church at the time. I have fallen out of love with God. I was confused when I came to the realization. And I was ashamed. Because how was it then that I had worked so hard in the church? I was so deeply and passionately in service of all the people I loved, all the people in my community, all the people at work, all the people I felt I needed to serve. And yet the word at the time was showing me that I was out of love with Christ. How, Sherelle, was that possible? I was ashamed. How was that possible? So I then went on to a very deep and long journey of reflection. And then the answers came to me. And then I had to rethink my strategies. And then I had to fall back in love with God. And it was wonderful. It was wonderful and it was a, 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 just a joyful place of clarity and purity and rest and a place of recovery. Recovery physically first and then emotionally and then spiritually. But the challenge still yet every day for me is how to stay in love with God. Because it's so easy for me to just fall back into the rut of doing good and mistaking doing good for being in love with God. And my invitation to myself and to you when I do facilitate the topic on the 25th of October is to ask ourselves, how do we stay in love with God? How do we regain our love for God? And how do we stay in love with God? By rethinking our strategies for staying in love with God. So join me, join the team, and let us join hands, join forces in staying in love with God. Because that is the purest love form ever.
to be felt.